Dear parent and student, welcome back to the Test Prep Card channel. Hope all of you are doing great in your life. We are once again back with one very interesting video which is going to be about NIT Srinagar. Okay, so the uh, topics which we will be covering in this video include the basic overview of NIT Srinagar means we will be giving a brief introduction of NIT Srinagar. Then we will be moving to the eligibility criteria, uh, courses offered there, what is the cutoff for uh, to get admission in NIT Srinagar, what is the NRI quota or reserved seats for NRI in Srinagar, what is the reservation criteria for Indian students and we will also be seeing the scholarships available in NIT Srinagar. So let us start with the basic overview. Uh, so watch the complete video. Okay. So NIT Srinagar uh, is generally one of the 31 NITs present in India. It is generally located in Srinagar of Jammu and Kashmir. Okay, uh, talking about its campus area, so its campus area is around 100 acres and it was established in 1960 and it is also known as NIT SRI. Okay, so talking about its connectivity from railway stations and airport, so it is around uh, 270 kilometers from Jammu Tawi railway station and just 19 kilometers from Srinagar railway station. Talking about its connectivity from airport, so it is only 19 kilometers from Sheikh Ul Alam International Airport in Srinagar. So this is all about the basic overview of NIT Srinagar. Now let us move to the eligibility criteria. So as the uh, exam which is required to get admission is in NIT Srinagar is JEE main for UG courses, for undergraduate courses. So the eligibility criteria is same as JEE main eligibility criteria. You should have a minimum aggregate of 75% in your class 12th. It is excluded from the year 2021, but it will be there from the uh, uh, next year. So you should have a minimum 75% for general candidate and 65% for the uh, SC or ST candidates. Okay. Uh, the second thing is that you can attempt J main consecutively for three years only. You can't attempt it the fourth time. So this is the basic eligibility uh, for JEE main exam or uh, the NIT Srinagar. Okay. The other thing is that you should have physics and maths as a compulsory subject in your class 12th. So this is all for the eligibility. Now let us move to the NRI quota. So under uh, DASA DASA scheme admission are provided uh, in the undergraduate courses to NRI students in NIT Srinagar. Okay. So what is the reservation for NRI is how many seats are reserved for NRI candidates. So there are a total of about 900 seats, approx 900 seats in NIT Srinagar. Out of them about 46 seats are specially reserved for the NRI candidates. Uh, talking about the branch wise seat distribution, around 5 seats are reserved for NRIs in computer science, 5 in electrical, 5 in electronics and communication, 5 in information technology, 5 in mechanical engineering, uh, sorry, 8 in mechanical engineering, 12 in civil engineering and 3 each in chemical and metallurgical department. So this is all for the seat distribution for NRI candidates. Okay. Now talking about the reservation for Indian candidates. So first of all, 50% of seats are reserved for the candidates from Jammu and Kashmir under home state quota. And from the year 2020, about 5% of seats are reserved for candidates from Ladakh, the Union Territory, Ladakh. Okay. So this is uh, the domicile reservation. Now talking about the category wise reservation, so 7.5% of seats are reserved for HT candidates, 15% of seats are reserved for SC candidates, 27% are reserved for OBC, NCL means other backward classes, non creamy layer and 10% are reserved for economically weaker section or general EWS. Other than that, 5% of seats in each category are reserved for physically handicapped people or PWD candidates. Okay. So if uh, some of uh, you are PWD candidates, then in each of your category means if a person is PWD from SC category, for example, so 5% of seats are reserved under SC category for PWD candidates and same for all the categories. Okay. Now let us move to the required entrance exam to get admission in NIT Srinagar. So talking about the undergraduate courses, so the exam which is compulsory is 
absolutely JEE main and for postgraduate courses means MTech courses the required entrance exam is gate okay. Now let us move to one more very important topic which is the courses offered because if you want to pursue a particular course in some college you should know that uh, that course is present or not the, uh, and then only you can target that college okay. So for undergraduate courses or B.Tech courses the courses offered are computer science engineering, civil engineering, chemical engineering, electrical engineering, electronics and communication engineering, uh, information technology, mechanical engineering and at last metallurgical and material science engineering. So these are 8 to 9 courses which are offered by NIT Srinagar under undergraduate courses. Now let us move to the M.Tech or postgraduate courses which are offered by NIT Srinagar. So the first one is mechanical, then comes communication engineering, electrical engineering, industrial engineering, information technology, microelectronics, power engineering, soil and water conservation engineering, structure engineering, transportation engineering and uh, then comes chemical engineering and civil engineering. So these are some of the streams under which you can pursue your postgraduate degree or M.Tech degree in NIT Srinagar. So this is all for the courses offered. Now let us move to one more means very interesting topic means this is the topic which is most interesting in the whole video which is the cutoff because uh, to get admission you should know that what rank to focus what rank to target to get admission in that particular stream in that particular college. So uh, the cutoff is divided into three sections here I will be talking about the general category cutoff particularly. So for Indian candidates first of all the cutoff is divided into uh, Jammu and Kashmir category then Ladakh category and then other state category means the candidates who are not from Jammu and Kashmir or Ladakh. So first of all let us discuss about the candidates from Jammu and Kashmir and this cutoff is purely based on previous year data so it can change but this will just give you a target that how much rank uh, it was closed previous year okay. So let us move for Jammu and Kashmir candidates. So for Jammu and Kashmir candidates for chemical engineering you should have a rank under 1,14,000 in JE main. For civil you should have a rank under 76,000. For computer science engineering you should have a rank under 33,000. For electrical you should have a rank under 83,000. For electronics and communication you should have a rank under 72,000. For information technology you should have a rank under 58,000. For mechanical you should have a rank under 92,000 and for metallurgical you should have a rank under 1,24,000. So this is for Jammu and Kashmir candidates. For the candidates from uh, Union Territory of Ladakh, so for chemical engineering the closing rank was around 4,17,000. For civil it was 2,13,000. For computer science it was 2,11,000. For electrical it was 2,79,000. Electronics it was 3,43,000. For information technology, technology it was around 4,11,000. For mechanical it was around 3,75,000. And for metallurgical it was around 5 lakh. Okay. So the rank are so much far away. Okay. So you can easily get admission if you are from Ladakh if you uh, do a decent score in JME. Now let us move for other state candidates, the candidates who are not from Ladakh or Jammu and Kashmir. So for chemical 48,000, for civil you should have a rank under 49,000, for computer science 23,000, for electrical it is 41,000, for electronics and communication you should have a rank under 36,000, for information technology 29,000, mechanical 44,000. And at last for metallurgical and material science engineering the closing rank was around 50,000. So this is all for other state candidates okay. Hope you get an idea that what rank to target if you are a candidate from India. Now talking about NRI candidates you can get the link of cutoff in the description section. So I will recommend you that uh, go to the description section and download the cutoff okay. Now before moving to the application process and scholarships available. Let me tell you about the NRI ebook prepared by Test Prep Card, especially for NRI, PIU, or CIWG candidates. And you can download it from the link given in the description. I will recommend that watch the complete video and visit the description to download it. It will be really helpful for you, okay? So consider downloading that. Now let us move to the application process. Now you will be focusing on the application process for UG courses. 
Now, as we know that uh, you should attempt JEE main examination in order to get admission in NIT Srinagar. So, the application process is obviously same as JEE main because you have to apply for JEE main. So, the first step is the register for JEE main. The application form are generally out in the month of September or October. Okay. So, first of all, you have to register there. You have to provide your basic details like your, some the personal information, your contact details, your address details. You have to provide your scanned signature and scanned photograph there. Okay. You have to provide your scanned class 10th and class 12th mark sheet. Okay, don't worry. If some of you are appearing for 12th this year, you have not to provide. There will be a section where you have to select that you are 12th passed or 12th appearing. If you will select 12th appearing, you will not have to upload any 12th class mark sheet there. You have to just upload your 10th class mark sheet. And but at the time of counseling, you need your class 12th mark sheet. Okay. Then uh, what you have to do, you have to uh, then your application will be completed. Then you will get your admit card. You have to sit in the examination. You should uh, score a decent marks in JE main. And then you have to apply for the JOSA counseling. JOSA is the body which con uh, which conduct the counseling for different different colleges under JE main examination and NIT Srinagar is also one of those colleges. Then you will get a seat in NIT Srinagar uh, according to your rank and if uh, there will be some seats which are vacant in NIT Srinagar then a special counseling named CSEP counseling is conducted you have to apply for CSEP counseling to get admission into the vacant seats okay. So this is all for the application process I have explained it from the beginning to the end okay. Now let us move to the last topic of this video it is the last topic but still very important topic which is the scholarship available. Now before knowing the scholarship we should know what is the fee structure there. So the basic fee structure for Indian candidates is around uh, you have to pay 65,000 rupees per semester okay it is generally the tuition fee and the other fees like examination fee uh, because hostel fee and mess fee is other than this okay i am only talking about your academic fee talking about the nri fee under uh, dasa category dasa it is around 4000 dollar per semester talking about nri fee under ciwg it is around 62500 rupees per semester talking about scholarships available uh, if you are a sc st or pwd candidates you have a full tuition fee waiver. You have not to pay any tuition fee. Okay. If you are a candidate whose family income is less than one lakh, then also your full tuition fee is waived off. If you are a general or OBC or general EWS candidate whose family income is from one lakh to five lakh, then two third of your tuition fee is waived off. So this is all for the scholarships available in NIT Srinagar. Hope you liked the video. If you liked the video, consider liking, subscribe the channel, and if you have any doubt, then comment down.